This is a question from literally everyone on the internet. What would happen if every single person on Earth jumped at the exact same time? At first, this sounds like one of those fun hypotheticals you ask in a classroom right after wondering if you can dig a hole to China. But let's take it seriously for a moment. You, me, all eight billion of us, jumping together, perfectly synchronized. Would we shake the planet? Would we break it? Would we finally shift Earth's orbit and fly off into space? First, we need a bit of setup. Let's assume that all humans gather in one place. That's a logistical nightmare, but let's ignore that part and assume we somehow manage to fit everyone in a large enough flat area. Spoiler, it's going to be crowded, extremely crowded. But how crowded? Well, the average human needs about half a square meter to stand. So 8 billion people would need 4 billion square meters, or 4,000 square kilometers. That's about the size of Bali, or a medium-sized U.S. state. So let's imagine all of humanity packed shoulder to shoulder on a massive plane in, say, Nevada. It's hot. It's loud. Someone brought a vuvuzela. We're ready to jump. Three, two, one. Jump. Everyone leaps into the air at the same instant for a glorious fraction of a second. Then we all come crashing down. So, what happened? Well, first of all, not much. Sorry, I know that's a bit anticlimactic. But physics is a party pooper. Let's break it down. The combined weight of all humans on Earth is about 600 million tons. That sounds like a lot, and it is. But compared to Earth's mass, it's microscopic. Earth weighs about 6 septillion tons. That's a 6 with 24 zeros. So when everyone jumps, we do exert a force on the planet, equal and opposite according to Newton's third law, but it's laughably small. In fact, Earth would recoil by less than the width of a hydrogen atom. That's so small it's practically meaningless. Okay, but what about when everyone lands? That's 8 billion foot smashes hitting the ground at once. Would that cause an earthquake? Now we're talking. The impact would generate a shock wave, a loud, synchronized thud that would travel through the ground. Seismologists could actually detect it. In fact, they already have. In 2011, a bunch of football fans in Seattle jumped up to celebrate a touchdown, and the resulting vibrations were picked up on a nearby seismograph. They called it a beast quake. But keep in mind, that was one stadium. With 8 billion people jumping at once, the ground would shake harder, probably equivalent to a small earthquake, maybe around magnitude 4 on the Richter scale. That's strong enough to rattle windows and make pets nervous, but not much more. No cities would collapse. No volcanoes would erupt. Sorry again. But wait, what if we didn't just jump once? What if we made it a routine? a global daily jumping ritual. If 8 billion people jumped at the same time every day, in the same location, could we build up enough vibration to affect the planet? Still, no. Earth is just too massive and too good at absorbing shocks. Vibrations dissipate quickly, and there's no real momentum stacking. It would be like trying to rock a cruise ship by throwing ping pong balls at it. But let's change the rules again. What if we didn't jump on Earth, but off Earth? Let's say we built a giant spaceship the size of a continent, loaded it with the entire population of Earth, and had everyone jump simultaneously inside it. Now we're in space. No gravity to keep us down. Could our mass shift the spacecraft? Yes. Finally. In a zero-gravity environment, Newton's laws become fun again. If everyone jumped in the same direction, the ship would move in the opposite direction. It would be tiny, centimeters per second, but measurable. Congratulations! We have just invented people-powered propulsion. Of course, you'd also float around awkwardly and crash into each other mid-air. But hey, science is messy. So, back on Earth. What's the final verdict? If everyone jumped at the same time, Earth wouldn't budge. The planet is simply too big. 
and we are too small. The ground would rumble and seismologists would throw a tiny party. That's about it. But maybe that's not the point. Maybe the real power isn't in the physics, it's in the symbolism. Imagine the entire human species doing one thing together at the same moment, perfectly united for once. Not to fight, not to compete, but just to jump. That might not move the earth, but it could definitely move us.